Dude, what? Shit is going down in Libya. Oh, I did cut a video today of one of the, the Tomahawk missiles going. It was kind of cool to see, but you know, you know what it does. And then you're like, oh boy. Yeah, there, you know what? There is actually folks outside on this chilly, kind of almost spring evening. They're playing fucking lacrosse out there. It's not quite that time of the year yet. So the other morning in the newsroom, Good Morning America featured who else but Rebecca Black because of that damn viral video of hers and all the reception that it's got, including my rant. My rant wasn't on GMA. I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Let's be clear here. It's not Rebecca Black that this anger, this ranting rage goes to. It's the Arc Music Factory, which I keep calling the Arc Tunnel Project. It's a Jersey thing. No, the Arc Tunnel Project was this was this project to make a train go from New Jersey to New York and it got scrapped because it was like it was like 8.7 billion dollars and Governor Christie was like, "Fuck no." But it kind of makes sense that they would be equated in my mind because, you know, they're both colossal failures, the Arc Music Factory and the Arc Tunnel Project. These two men, apparently, that are reigning over this music factory are what is wrong. Not Rebecca Black. No, no, no. These two gents. Let me talk to them. Let me tell them what I really think. The fact that they think it's okay to exploit teenagers as this doesn't sit well with me or my soul. Let's be honest here, folks. It's the same shit recycled over and over again. Any one of these little teeny teenagers can be interchanged with any one of them. So you go to their website, it's like big upcoming stars, and you're like, no, no. I think, I think those lacrosse players might, might be able to hear me. The fact that they have these teenagers doing what they do, it seems like whatever route they get there, it doesn't matter as long as they end up with 15 minutes of fame. Don't mind that we're completely scarring this poor little 13 year old for life. I mean, the internet is a very, very cruel place to be. I am so creeped out that there are people out there that actually want to keep playing up this little kid talented aspect. It seems like so underhanded. There's like this malicious, underhanded agenda just solely to make money, no other reason. The Arc Tunnel Music Factory, whoa. They disable the, the ratings on their, on their internet videos. They have to approve the comments. It's like, you know what? Not everybody's gonna like it. Why are you trying to shelter them from like the negative? Because how many thousands of fucking Rebecca Black videos have there been? Too many to count. Apparently, I don't know if this is true, but it makes sense to me. That little teeny Jenna Rose girl, you know, who sings my jeans. <laughs> Looking out the window and I see some chick, she's wearing my jeans. I check the door, the lock is broken. Bitch, she stole my jeans. She has a good voice. She does, but it's like auto-tuned to death. And you're like, what? That girl has a lisp. I can tell I have a lisp. Slight one. Like, that girl's got a lisp, but you can never tell because it's auto-tuned to death. Uh, fucking auto-tune is ruining everything. Everything. We were auto-tuning in the newsroom the other day. There's a fucking iPhone app for auto-tuning. It's called IMT Pain. And we were. We were T-Pain. I feel like I have to just form some sort of, like, movement against this kind of shit that I say. The Coalition Against Crappy Music Recording Companies. Kakarumuk. I think about it and I'm saying, yeah, it makes me laugh. It's funny. It's something for me to rant about. But at the end of the day, you got to think, what kind of ramifications is it going to have on these little teenagers? Like I saw the interview on Good Morning America with Rebecca Black. She literally looked like she was about to cry. I was like, oh, Barbie. You know, Justin Bieber, really, he's like the only one that kind of rose to international superstardom because of YouTube. If you keep trying and you keep trying to be something that is a once in a blue moon opportunity, it's gonna keep ending up like it is right now. You know what? Go right ahead, nurture your children, have them sing, do all that, but don't subject them to this crappy bullshit recyclable auto-tuned crap songs. Just don't do it. I truly do think 
it's not a case of passion for music for most of these kids. It's a passion for notoriety, and it's a passion to grab the limelight, and that's what happened to Rebecca Black. So let's form this coalition. What did I call it? The, the cack room. I don't want to see another fucking viral phenomenon on Good Morning America. And I never watched Good Morning America, but it was just on in the newsroom. They must have like a cracked out internet division over there. I think I found my new calling in life. And I have oh so many. I got work tomorrow. Good night, bitches.